I talk a lot about design on my channel and the main reason for that is it really is what makes or breaks your print-on-demand business and I think a lot of people get caught up in designing. It takes a lot of time and if your designs aren't good, the chances are your products aren't going to sell. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a tool that I recently discovered and have been using for my print-on-demand products and I'm so excited about it. Honestly, it's a game changer and I can't wait to share it with you because anything that makes my life easier with print on demand I always want to share with you guys because I know that you're doing the same things and it can be really overwhelming trying to create designs. So if you're familiar with Kittle it is a web browser design platform that I absolutely love. I've been using Kittle for years and it's my design platform of choice when creating my print on demand products. I love it because it has so many different templates and a really good AI system but Kittle just created a brand new thing on their platform called Kittle Flows and essentially as the word flows says you are creating creating different AI generated images, designs, graphics, all from one specific image. So what you can do is create 10, 15, 20, 25, you get the point, designs off of one simple design. And basically it uses AI to generate all these new different creative things for you fast, efficient, and high quality. So it can take you only 10 minutes to create 100 designs versus, well, we all know how long it can take to create one design that makes sense, right? So I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and I'm really impressed by it. It is brand new too, so I'm excited to be sharing it with you. I've been playing around with it a little bit. It is in beta, but um, definitely something that you should hop onto now. And so of course, everything will be linked in the description for you. And yeah, let me show you how it works so that you can get a glimpse into this and get on it. Once you're logged in here on the left side, you can go over to templates on Kittle and then scroll at the top here to where it says creative flows. Now there is a bunch of different stuff here that you can create, but let me open one of these just to give you a better idea. So this one here, they wanted to create a bunch of different graphics for a design. And what they do again is start with one specific graphic and then use AI to create more. So here's the graphic that they initially started with. And then they started giving each individual one here a different input to create new designs. So they started out with one design, then created this line of designs, and then used the AI again to generate more variations of that specific design. So you could see how this could save a lot of time and create a bunch of different types of designs too. And if I wanted to create a version off of this design, all I'd have to do is select this, hit smart board, and then give it an AI prompt to change this. So I could say, make this pink and girly, add lipstick and eyelashes with a smirk. Okay, generate. And let me just show you before we create our own designs how easy this is. Okay, so check it out. This just created the variation that I asked it to make. And as you can see there, how this could just keep going and going and going and create all these different designs. And I can use that same exact prompt and go down the line and create a new one of all of these. So it's just really cool and really great. So let's go ahead and create a design from scratch. I'm also gonna show you some graphics too. So make sure you stay to the end of the video so you can see how much this will be able to help you out in your designing journey. Journey. So what I like about this too is that you can start with either a pre-made graphic that you have or you can just start from scratch with some text. So let's go ahead and do that first. I'm going to go up to here where it says new project on Kittle. And when you're creating your artboard, um, the easiest way to do this is to create into a like square artboard. So you can put it on multiple products. So I'm going to do 2500 by 2500 pixels. Okay. And keep it just like that and hit for it to create our artboard. And so this is our blank initial artboard, right? And so I'm I'm just going to add some text here. So I could add a bunch of different things, but I'm going to start with a school counselor because I want to create a bunch of different designs for a school counselor t-shirt, mug, tote bag, you get the point. So I'm going to say school counselor because I want the text to be like, on top of each other like that. Now, one thing to note when you're doing this is the artboard is going to be your starting point. So if you want to have a specific font or if you just want to give the AI free range, that's up to you. However, I've noticed when using this, if you do start with a font, it tends to keep it pretty similar to what you started with regardless of the prompt. So keep that in mind. So now that I'm ready to start creating my five different designs, I'm going to click artboard and I'm going to hit smart board and I'm going to move this up. This purple is going to be my first smart board. And then as you can see on the right, this is where I'm going to describe the AI to make the different edits for me as I just did in the example. So I'm going to make five of these. And instead of clicking on this one and 
and then hitting to create a smart board. Because this is our starting point, we're going to keep clicking on this one and create multiple smart boards just to keep everything organized because whatever image you create a, a smart board off of, that's the one that it's going to pull the information from. So as I said, make sure that you're clicking on the original ones that we get the correct smart board. So now I'm just going to move these up so that they're all spaced correctly on our page. So now I have five different artboards where I'm going to create five different school counselor designs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the individual smart board and each one of these is going to have their own individual prompt. So what I'm going to do is describe my edits up here on the right. Now, when you're using AI, you basically want to dumb it down as if you were talking to a kindergartner. You want to be descriptive or vague, depending on how much you want the AI to do. But what I have found is the more descriptive that you are, the better outcome that you'll get and you won't have to keep going in and making 15 edits, okay? So with this, I'm going to be as specific as possible and tell it exactly what I want. Now, if you're blanking on ideas of what type of design you wanna create, you can always use other AIs, platforms like ChatGPT or something like Pinterest for inspiration um, to really get the overall idea that you're looking for. So for the first one, I'm going to say, in a playful hand, drawn chalk board font white text with a chalk like texture surrounded by simple doodles of okay what are some things that would be in a counselor's stars hearts paper airplanes and books in a chalk board style look. Okay, I think that's good um, for our first design. And then I'm going to right here pay attention. So there's two different things here. There is an aspect ratio and then a quality. So I want to do it at high quality because that way it's better for the print on demand products. And then I'm going to select transparent background because when playing with this, it will most of the time give you a colored background. So make sure you hit transparent because again, we want it to be on our print on demand products and we don't want it to like give us a school counselor background. Now, once you've done that, you can either keep going and create all of these and then generate them at the same time. However, I prefer to do them individually. It is pretty like quick. It takes about a minute to create the design, but it is up to you how you want to do it. So I'm just going to create this one so we can take a look at what it is. And as that's generating, I'm going to go to my next smart board and then type the edits in for my next design. Do soft water color rainbow. This one in a clean modern serif font. And as you can see here, this one was just created and check this out. So it created basically exactly as I said, it wanted that chalkboard style to this design and it made the design for me in just a few seconds. And then I have some prompts ready to go. So I'm just gonna do the same thing and hit transparent background. And I will generate these at the same time. But as I was saying to you, because this is in beta, I've learned that instead of doing it all at the same time, like to do each individual one and click to generate them versus selecting all of them and then hitting generate, it just doesn't work as well in my opinion yeah so that's just what i've learned i actually went over to chat too and i put in some prompts for different t-shirt design ideas just so i could get a little bit of a idea for what to say so this one's in a bold retro 90s yellow color let's try this and i'm just going to copy and paste this prompt into here and see what it creates working smarter not harder we want to give some point of creativity to these designs too even though we are using ai and also if you're selling on something like etsy in order to be in their uh policies to sell products you do have to either create the design or give instruction for the design that you're making. So I do encourage you if you are going to be selling on Etsy to take these designs and then further edit them yourself, whether that's adding um, a shadow, changing around things in the background. I can give you an example of that, but it just helps to make sure that we're adhering to the guidelines. Even though we are telling the AI what we'd like, I always like to be safe about it rather than sorry, you know? So check it out. It's already starting to create the designs. I love this one here, this like pastel one. Check out this one. This is beautiful. This 
I think we could do a little bit more with. So I think that I'm going to change that one, but you can definitely get the idea here how this AI is creating all these different designs for us. And all we did was type school counselor. Like this is so cool. And I think like, as I said, the more descriptive I was, so like this one, see how descriptive this was versus this one, you're definitely gonna get a better result. So I would definitely utilize your creativity with this, give it as much info as possible. Easier to type than to like actually create the designs in my opinion. And you'll get so many different things off of that. So let's wait for this last one to be done. And then we'll do some further editing because once you're on here, you can click and you can make edits and hit generate again. So like I could ask it to add color or a background or be more bold and then generate it again if I do want to. Okay, beautiful. So we have some clear winners here for designs that I would use. So I absolutely love this school counselor one down here. I could ask it to add in something more school-like or make it pink. Same with this one as well, and maybe some color to this one. So let me show you how you could keep going. Now, I wanna make a variation of these two designs right here. So what I'm gonna do is click on it and then create a new smart board. So always by the arrows, you can tell where your smart board's coming from. So this one is creating off of this specific prompt. So it's going to take everything from this prompt and apply it to this smart board. So I'm gonna click on the smart board and give it the update. So I'm going to say, keep it the same, but make it pink ombre, add more sparkles. And then for this one, I'm going to say, keep it the same, but change the text to guidance counselor. Okay, so check it out. I did exactly that. It said school counselor, added some pink. And if I wanna keep this design or keep changing it, and then I could just keep going. So now I can say to this one, change the text to guidance counselor. Okay, so you see where I'm going with this now is if I could keep going with this exact design, if it's the one that I liked and do school counselor, guidance counselor, uh, kindergarten teacher, first grade teacher, second grade teacher, third grade teacher, and I could have a full 10 designs based off of this. Same here, see this? School counselor, kindergarten teacher, and I could keep going. So that's the whole idea here of creating all these different types of designs. So I could sit here for like maybe 15 minutes, if that, and create 10 different designs for different professions, right? I could even go into dog doctors. I could go into different lawyers. So many different things here. There's so much opportunity for this. And all you have to do is type in the different prompts for the designs. And this one's making me sad. So let's go ahead and create something a little bit better. And also there's this enhanced prompt button that will give you a more enhanced idea of what exactly you're trying to create. Again, everything in here is beta, but it's pretty cool that you can enhance the prompt from what Kittle actually says to create that. Okay, so that one's much cooler than the design that we had, but you get the idea here how I could just keep creating these. And then when you want to download them, all you have to do is either select your individual artboard or you can select all the artboards at once and download them in a zip file. But let's say we wanna take this school counselor one. I would just go up here to download. I would hit remove background and then I could change this to like 300 DPI just so that it's higher quality. And then we can go ahead and download it. And this is beautiful, high quality, ready for, or a print on demand product, which is so impressive. And again, I could download all of these at the same time if I'd like to. Now, I think that there's endless opportunities with this. I wanted to show you too, um, how you could create designs or even just graphics to use separately with designs. So here's an example of that. This is a little goose graphic that I found on Creative Fabrica, but I wanted to do more with it, make it more my own. So I went ahead and downloaded it with a transparent background, and then I started a smart board off of it. So this gives you some pretty good creativity here. Um, and you can see what I did. So I created this little goose off of this one. And then I created a ton of different smart boards. I think there's 10 here of different gooses doing things differently, different professions. So for this one, I asked it to make it a teacher, teacher goose. And then I did a doctor, a party. And you see the prompts over here where I was just telling it how to make the different gooses. And then I thought, what a cool idea to have them all like different professions and stuff. So like, look how cute this mama goose design is. Like I thought this was so fun. And then I was really impressed when I asked it to add the text to it, which would save you a lot of time. I asked it to say, sorry, I was late. I was dilly dallying. And it like got the idea already to put the text around it in a circle. I didn't even say that. I mean, I did say letters around the goose, but I mean, I wasn't expecting it to do that because the first one I did didn't really work out. Some of them are a little off, but obviously the more that you keep playing with the prompts, you can get them to look even better and better. And I just had so much fun with this. And then I can even like keep going. Like there's so much opportunity opportunity. I could say, keep it the same, make the scrubs pink, 
and give the goose eyelashes. Um, what else? Just to make it girly. And a bow so it looks girly. And then what's cool about this is I could download all of these and then upload them into Kittle and then just use them in my designs, you know? Like that's what's so cool about it. It's like, it doesn't have to create your whole finished design. It can create a piece of a design that you can use, you know, later on. And I think it's cool. Like I know it takes a minute to generate, but like I said, this is in beta, uh, give it some love. I really want Kittle to keep this around. I keep saying it's so cool, but it, it really is. It's one of the coolest things that I've seen in designing for print on demand thus far. And while that's generating, I just want to show you that you don't only have to use it for print on demand. There's a lot of different things that you can do with the flows. So you could do um, different types of text that you could use. You could also use it to do your different storyboards um, for marketing. Here's a product ad generator, inspiration. There's a lot you can do here. So I would recommend going to these templates. I'll leave a direct link for you and just checking out all the different things that you can do. If you're not limited to just print on demand designing, but obviously that's what a lot of us do here on this channel. So I wanted to incorporate that. Okay. So check it out. This is so cute. Now we have a little girl goose on there and we could download and add text to this if we wanted to. There's so many different opportunities. This actually would be really cute for embroidery as well, this design. Like if I actually did the text in black and then did it for embroidery on a t-shirt on Printify. Okay, cute. And see, we just made a little t-shirt design in just a few minutes. Could obviously make this design a lot better, but I'm just kind of showing you the idea here. So you can either make the full design using the Kittle flows, or you can take graphics or fonts and then later take it in to make your own design. There's so much creativity to be had here. So definitely, utilize that, see all the th different things that you can do. And this is run on Kittle's AI system, which is a credited system. Once you have an account, you'll get a certain amount of credits on your account for your AI. And if you don't have any credits right now, actually Kittle is running a pretty cool promotion, which I'll leave down below, where you can do a challenge and earn some free credits for AI. So the more credits you have, the more awesome creations you can make. And I'll have a link for Kittle below if you don't have an account. And I have a code as well for a discount too um, on some paid plan. So definitely something you can check out. But overall, I really am excited about this tool. This is something I'm going to be utilizing on my channel, and I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And I know AI can be a bit intimidating, um, but I think that if we can use it as something as a tool like this to help us be more efficient, to really bring our ideas to life, because sometimes that's the hardest part of a design. You might see something you want to recreate, or you might have an idea in your mind and like bringing it to life is difficult if you can't draw or you don't know where to find the graphics or how to put the text. And so I think using these different tools to help us is a really, really cool thing. And so I, I'm all for using AI to make your designs better and more functional as well. And, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're going to use this, if you want to check it out, of course, everything is below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.